And now, your first alert weather. All right, working on a bit of some clearing right now in Idaho Falls. Beautiful sunset here across much of the Snake River Plain. As you go north and east of town, you still got a lot of cloud cover, and we're getting some snow in areas around Swan Valley and then up into areas near Teton Valley, Idaho, and over into the uh, Tetons up around Teton Pass getting some snow. 31 degrees with winds out of the southwest at 13 miles an hour. Feels like 21 outside. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam 34 feels like 24 with the winds out of the southwest at 16 miles an hour. Then we go to Jackson. In town it's been fairly clear, but of course as soon as you get into the mountains west of town, west of Wilson, you're seeing a fair amount of cloud cover and some snow. 19 right now at the Jackson Airport. Winds at 3. Wind chills down to 14 and overcast conditions right now in Salmon at 40 degrees. Viper picking up on that snow, like I mentioned, eastern Bonneville County, Swan Valley, Teton Valley, and then getting a bit into western Wyoming tonight. And that's about it here for this evening. But another system on its way, putting down some wet weather tonight across portions of Washington and North Idaho tonight. And then by tomorrow night, we have a bit of that snow working towards us. Now, this thing's really taking aim across North Idaho and northwestern Montana. And then it sweeps in here tomorrow night into Wednesday. Not a lot of snow with this system. We're really not getting the brunt of it. We do drop in some cold air briefly for Wednesday and Thursday, and then we warm it up back to the lower 30s with high pressure to the south for this weekend. Here's a look at the Viper cast tonight. Areas of fog and mostly cloudy conditions for your Tuesday. Lighter winds once we get past midnight tonight, allowing for some of that low cloud cover and fog development. But by about dinner time tomorrow, 6 o'clock here for Tuesday, we're going to see little pockets of snow around Island Park and West Yellowstone. A few pockets of snow in the mountains of central Idaho. Quick shot of snow coming in here for early Wednesday. The majority of that snow really focused into the mountains east and southeast of the Snake River Plain, getting into Utah and Wyoming border areas. The wind speeds into the teens tonight, but once we get past midnight, like I said, winds are fairly quiet for your Tuesday. Winds will steadily increase, though, for your Wednesday, with those numbers getting back into the teens and 20s with gusts around 30. So chance of fog tonight for the Snake River Plain. You might see a few flakes and flurries from the fog and low cloud cover. And then we have mostly cloudy conditions tomorrow afternoon with the winds increasing by tomorrow night. And then more winds for Wednesday with a chance of snow. Highs at 25 for Montpelier. 31 in McCammon. We've got 28 in Preston with a low of 21 tonight. We're at 25 tomorrow for Dubois. We've got 29 for Rexburg and 28 for St. Anthony with a high of 28 tomorrow afternoon in Jackson and the upper 20s towards Driggs. 30 for Swan Valley. Here's your eight-day forecast in Jackson. Mid-20s for Wednesday and Thursday, but back to the mid-30s by Saturday with a shot of some snowy weather to get us through parts of the weekend. Rexburg upper 20s for tomorrow and Wednesday for highs. Lows are starting to get back down to the single digits later this week and we have partly cloudy skies for Friday and a high of 29, low 30s for Saturday. Mid-20s for Arco tomorrow with the mid-20s in Mackey, and then we're into the mid-30s for Chalice, mid to upper 30s in Salmon tomorrow with a shot of some snow and the wind picking up here for Wednesday. Mostly sunny for Thursday as we clear out from the system. Highs will be in the upper 20s for Thursday, and then we're looking at those temperatures back to mid to lower 30s Saturday and Sunday. Not a lot of wet weather to get us through the weekend. In fact, we've got a couple areas of snow to the north of us this Saturday and Sunday, but as you take a look at the Eight day forecast. We're not picking up on a ton of moisture once we get past Wednesday. It's just fairly quiet, normal February weather with temperatures right where they should be for this time of the year. Blackfoot 31 for Wednesday, 26 for Thursday, and to the low 30s we go for Saturday and Sunday. Moving over to Pocatello, a high of 34 for Wednesday. Low to mid 30s for Thursday and Friday. Chance of some snowy weather again on Wednesday, but just a very low risk of snow for Saturday and Sunday. Idaho Falls, a high of 30 degrees for Wednesday. Mid 20s for Thursday, so there's a slight drop there in the temps for daytime highs. And overnight lows getting pretty chilly again, with the numbers falling back into the single digit range. Then we're into the upper 20s, low 30s for highs Saturday and Sunday, with mainly cloudy skies on Saturday and a few mountain snow showers. But even then, we're not looking at any major snowstorms this Saturday and Sunday, even for the high country. We'll send it over to Todd. Thanks a lot, Michael. Coming up, several local teams can clean.